Okay, on these Yanmar and Yanmar clone single cylinder engines, the fuel screw is actually really simple and easy to find. It's right here. And all it does is it uh, limits when the, this is the throttle linkage basically right here. This is the shaft that uh, goes into the engine and it connects to the linkage to the injection pump right here. It travels down here, it's a linkage. And anyways, so uh, it'll be cruising like right here at the uh, at the governor or wherever uh, you have your throttle set and when the engine comes under load it'll try and compensate by uh, adding more fuel by p pumping out more fuel so the pump will uh, go this way until it hits the governor or t not until it hits the governor until it hits the uh, this uh, this uh, the screw here in which case it can't fuel any harder so that's the maximum fueling it can that's this so basically this is the maximum fuel screw it cannot after it hits here, it can't fuel any harder. If you screw it out, you can only screw it out to a certain point, because otherwise, until the shaft, the shaft won't come out here anymore. But you can screw it up until its maximum point. In which case, when the engine comes under load, it will uh, fuel as hard as it can. Which would, but you don't really want to do it. You don't want to set the fuel to maximum because these naturally aspirated engines, you only put as much fuel as can be burned. Maybe a little bit more to get the maximum fuel output. Only case you would want to turn the fuel end up any more on these engines is if you had uh, a turbocharged uh, turbocharger application to it, because uh, then it could actually use the fuel and turn it into power. But otherwise, it's just going out and uh, uh, turning up your EGTs, cutting engine life for no re no specific reason. So yeah, it's overview. This is the f this is the fuel linkage assembly. This this uh, shaft right here it connects to the linkage to the injection pump directly. It goes down here, and that goes it's in. This is all in the engine from back up until the shaft, and the shaft comes, and then it's connected to the, the to the throttle. <coughs> and uh, be because this shaft is connected to the to a governor, this shaft is uh, just the where you hook the throttle up to. So when the engine comes under load, it will. Uh, try to compensate and add more fuel by going inward until it hits the uh, as much as it can until to what to where the uh, maximum fuel screw will allow and once it hits that it can't go anymore but uh, it should be set from the factory it shouldn't be set it should be set a little bit below and you should be able to turn it up just a little bit to get your maximum power out of these engines and as for RPMs I wouldn't try to uh, I'm sure there's a way to adjust uh, Governor, I, I don't know if there is or not, but even if you could, if you can, I wouldn't because uh, these engines are Chinese made. I don't know the uh, they're they're little diesels, and I would not rev them past uh, the 3600 <clears throat> limit. I would actually continuous RPM even for the Yanmar. I would I would personally recommend uh, no more than uh, 30 32 3400. Continuous. I wouldn't keep it at the 3600 RPM continuous. I'm sure it'll last, but it won't last as long. It was a little, little air-cooled diesel. I wouldn't recommend trying to get over 4,000, like a spike of over 4,000 RPM. I don't know. Maybe you could. Someone could try. And but I wouldn't want to be the one to blow up my engine tr trying to do it. So. Yeah, that's it for now. But except for what I want to do with this engine is I want to, I actually do want to get a turbocharger and mount a motorcycle transmission to it. Because this is a taper, a taper shaft, like just at the beginning. So I'm just gonna get a, a, a pulley that can you can put a screw and it clamps down on the shaft, and then it's just gonna run. And then I'm gonna take a motorbike case, cut off the piston and rod, and I know the crank is unbalanced, but I've seen it done before and it doesn't throw it off as much as you think. And then basically you just you have a full five speed five ge five gears to run whatever you want. And I'm thinking of either a motorbike or go kart application. Which would be something neat and interesting and with the turbocharger. I'm sure you could probably run around ten PSI boost. These heads already they come with studs, so not terrible quality, but it's not the greatest either, so I don't know. That'd be the one thing I would be willing to uh, 
uh, experiment, push push the engine on as uh, uh, fuel it as hard as it can and give it as much boost as it can. Because I'm sure the first thing that'll go is the head gasket, which isn't that hard to replace on these engines. So yeah. <laughs>